Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you an easiest way of Ubuntu installation alongside Windows 11 and of course without losing data. Ubuntu and Windows 11 are both popular operating system and having both installed on your computer can help ensure compatibility with wide range of software and hardware. And Ubuntu is an open source operating system that includes a wide range of free and open source software. Many people prefer to use open source software for ethical purpose, for flexibility and customized option that open source software provides. And Ubuntu is known for its strong security feature which can help to protect your computer from viruses and other malware. By installing Ubuntu alongside Windows 11, you can use Ubuntu for more sensitive tasks such as online banking or accessing confidential documents. So, without wasting more time, let's take a closer look how you can install Ubuntu alongside Windows 11. Before continue, you should have these three prerequisites. Number 1. A USB pendrive at least 8GB of capacities. Number 2. Ubuntu ISO file. To download, first go to Windows search and search for download Ubuntu. Now, you need to download Ubuntu ISO file from official website. Scroll down, you will need to select the version of Ubuntu you want and choose the appropriate architecture based on your computer hardware. I will be downloading this latest version for my computer hardware. And number 3, you will need to download Ventoy tool to create a bootable USB drive. Go to Ventoy official website. Click download section to download Ventoy latest version from here. Once you have these requirements, you can follow these steps to create a bootable USB drive with Ventoy and Ubuntu. Next, insert your USB drive into your computer and extract the Ventoy that you downloaded. Open the folder that you got after extracted. Now, open the Ventoy2.exe and click Yes to confirm. First, select the USB flash drive. Go to Option menu and check Secure Boot option. Select Partition Style MPR and Partition Configuration NTFS. And click OK. Now, click on Install. After that, Ventoy will display a warning message that all the data on the USB drive will be destroyed. Now, type yes and click OK and click yes to proceed. Once the installation is complete, you should see a message that says Ventoy has been installed successfully to this device. Alright, our bootable USB drive is ready. Now, you need to copy your Ubuntu ISO file to the USB drive. Simply drag and drop the ISO file onto the USB drive. Also, you can add many ISO files as you want. Once done, safely eject the USB drive from your computer. Insert your USB drive into your computer you want to boot from. If you want to dual boot, then you need to create an unallocated space which will be automatically detected by Ubuntu as a free space during installation and it will give you an option install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. Now right click on that drive from which you want to take unallocated space and click on shrink. Type the amount in MB format which you want to shrink for unallocated space. I want to shrink 100 GB space so I will be type this MB format in this shrink box and click on shrink. 
Okay, now our unallocated space has been successfully created and you can manually select this free space during installation. Next, insert the bootable USB drive into your computer. Now, restart your system and you may need to change the boot order in computer BIOS settings to boot from the USB. Usually the BIOS key F2 or delete. Ok, as you can see, the boot was successful from the Ventura USB drive. Now, select the Ubuntu ISO file by using arrow key on the keyboard and press enter. After that, select boot in normal mode and press enter. Now, select try install Ubuntu or Ubuntu save graphics and press enter. Once you have booted into Ubuntu installer, choose language and click install Ubuntu. Select keyboard layout and click continue. You can connect with your Wi-Fi connection. I don't want to connect right now, so I just skip this. Select normal installation and click on this checkbox and click continue. Now select this option. Install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager, as I said before. If this option does not show, then you have to choose something else option to manually select the partition on the drive and click continue. Now I just select this free space that we have created before from the Windows Disk Management. Now click on plus button to create a new partition for Ubuntu. Select use as ext4 journaling file system. Next define the root partition and click ok. Now select your create a new partition and click install now. And click continue. Select your location and continue. Type your username and password and then continue. Now let it for install. Ok, now click restart and remove the USB flash drive from your PC and let's see dual boot is working or not. Ok, as you can see, our dual boot option is working properly. That's it, you have now installed Ubuntu alongside Windows 11 computer. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share, we need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.